Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm a tutor in the Econ Tutoring Center. Today I'm going to go over a couple questions about uh, aggregate demand, uh, short run aggregate supply, long run aggregate supply, uh, and some monetary policy questions. Okay, so this question says for each of the events below, uh, well in this case we'll do them one by one, uh, but it says determine the short run effects on output and how the Fed should adjust the money supply and interest rates to stabilize output. Okay, so this says Congress tries to balance the budget by cutting government spending. So that's going to say you have, you know, aggregate demand, and this is your, I'll call it short run, aggregate supply, right? And if uh, government spending goes down, then we have a decrease in aggregate demand to aggregate demand two, right? Um, so what, what the Fed Reserve should do then uh, is if we look at, right, the Fed can influence this money supply here, Right, and so what they can do is try and increase the money supply to decrease the interest rate from I1 to I2. Right, and if the Federal Reserve decreases the interest rate, that will increase investment um, and thus shift aggregate demand back to the right. So, um, again, if they tried to cut government spending, you could try and compensate for that by increasing the uh, money supply which would decrease the interest rate and thus increase investment. Okay, well another example here. Now uh, we want to find the short run effects of a stock market boom um, increasing ho household we wealth. So in that case, uh, aggregate demand is going to increase from aggregate demand one to aggregate demand two, right? And say we want to try and stabilize this. Um, so the idea is, by the way, is that there's you know, some long run level here. Um, and so the idea is if we're trying to stabilize this to make sure that there aren't these kind of um, too many fluctuations uh, around our long run curve, we could uh, instead, like it back on this, correct. The Federal Reserve could choose to decrease the money, money, money supply, which would increase interest rates from I1 to I2, which would decrease investment and move you back um, to this uh, long run curve where we were before. Okay, so if a war breaks out in the Middle East calling oil prices to soar, so oil's an input in a lot of things, so you would see that uh, in this case instead of anything happening to aggregate demand, uh, you would see the supply would decrease right, which is going to bring us to a, a lower level of output, right, and so if we wanted to um, increase and get back to this long run line here, right, where output was, um, we could, the Federal Reserve would want to try and increase aggregate demand, which they would do by, like we said in the previous example, um, increasing the money supply, right, because now when the Fed increases the money supply to money supply 2, the interest rate is going to drop, which is going to increase investment and thus get you uh, back to your long run curve here. Um, if you have any questions, come visit us in the Econ Tutoring Center. Uh, and also remember that uh, the language I may be using might be different from your professors, so always check to make sure that um, what you see in your class is the same as uh, the language I'm using.